today? Good, how are you? Good, my name's Lane. I'm gonna be your student nurse today. All right, can I see your uh, wristband? Ooh. Perfect, can I be verified your name and date of birth? Alsa Flat 081603. All right, perfect, thank you so much. All right, so today we're gonna to do a respiratory and cardiovascular check, is that all right with you? All right, this should only take about 10 minutes. Um, then, so let's get started. So first I have to ask you some questions. Um, so just to start out with, uh, for the respiratory system, do you have any history of like lung disease and lung issue? No. Any lung issues with you personally? No. And in, in your family? All right, any cough currently? No. Nope. All right. Um, do you have any chest pain when you breathe? No. Nope. All right, any issues with breathing at all? All right, have you ever smoked? No. Anyone in your family? No. All right, perfect. And then is there anything in your life like environmental exposures that you have? Like work environment? No. All right, school, no. Living style? All right, perfect. And then have you had your TB test? Yes. Lately? Okay. And have you flu shot? Yes. COVID shots too? Yes. All right, perfect. All right, let's get right into checking your lung sounds. So first I am going to look at your um, face and skin color just to make sure everything looks good. Up for me. All right, perfect. All right, um, then I'm gonna listen to each part of your lungs in the front and the back. Um, so your skin looks good, um, your thyroid, everything, your thorax looks like it's symmetrical. All right, anterior thorax, I'll look at that in a second. And then your thoracic mu muscles for tenderness, I'm gonna look at that. So can I be turned that way and face your back to me? All right, perfect. I'm lifting up your shirt, is that right? Yes. All right. All right. Everything looks symmetrical. Now I need a palpate, which is kind of like pushing on the little areas. I'm gonna check with my hands. Basically here, I would be checking for if there was any um, skin or bumble or bubbles under the skin, which you seem pretty healthy. I feel like you wouldn't have to have any issues with that, but it is something that we do check. All right, everything does look good. Um, everything's symmetrical, like I said, palpated it. So now I'm going to put my stethoscope on and I'm gonna listen. And here I'm going to be doing kind of a Z shape down. So I'm just going to ask you, um, take, just take deep breaths in and I'll be listening. Okay. Sounds good so far, we're almost halfway. Great, we're good on that side. I'm gonna ask you to face towards me again. Everything sounded good. You have healthy lungs. I didn't hear any crackles or anything. All right, so now I'm going to um, check your, do the same thing, the pressing on your chest area. So I'm just gonna go to Z back line again. I'm doing great. I'm here, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna listen again under your shirt. I don't need to lift it for you to lift it up. I'll just go under. Okay. First, we can start over here. Got a strong heart. I see. <laughs>
last one. Great, you have healthy lungs, I see. Everything good. looks good. All right, so we're done with the lungs, respiratory. Um, I didn't see any findings. Um, just have good, healthy lungs, basically. All right, <clears throat> so the next, I have to ask you some questions about heart disease. Okay. So, um, so do you have any chest pain currently? All right. Um, are you having any trouble breathing? Okay. Any coughs you've been seeing? Nope. You haven't been sick at all? No. All right, have you been like having fatigue or like feeling sick? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let me check your hands for just some cyanosis, which is like blue colors in the skin. All right, great. And then no swelling, any edema? Have you had any swelling that you've seen in your feet too? No. All right, perfect. And then past cardiac history with you? All right, how about your family? Didn't you mention something about your sister? Yeah, my sister was born with a congenital heart defect, but other okay. than that, no. All right, um, and what was that? What is that? Like, what, what about that in your family? Like, is it just? That was just, just her? Yeah, it was just her. All right, yeah. all right. And does that affect, you think that has anything to do with you or is just? No, she's younger than me, so. Okay, perfect. And then, is there any other cardiac factors in your life that could be riskful? Okay. No. And then have you had any leg pain or cramping lately? No. All right, perfect. Um, and then any skin changes? And have you been noticing face, arms, chest, legs? No. All right, great. All right, and then the swelling that I see in the arms and the legs. Yeah, main thing is symmetry. Everything looks good. I don't see any swelling. Um, all right. So next thing, I just have one more question, a couple more questions. Um, have you been noticing any lymph node enlargements anywhere else in the body? No. All right, perfect. And then are you on any medications? No. All right. And then family's history of smoking? Mm -mm. And then you smoking? No. All right, great. All right, first I'm going to um, check a couple things like the arteries and then the veins of just how everything's flowing in your body. Okay. Um, so I already checked the arms for edema. So can I have you take your socks off for me? Yes. Thank you. All right, next I'm gonna check for um, jugular vein dis dis pul pulsation. So I'm gonna have you lean your neck to one side just to make sure there's no nothing popping out. Great, other side. All right, thank you. And I'm gonna check your um, lymph nodes, make sure everything your thyroid's all even. All right, great. All right. Um, I didn't find any, see any findings. Now I'm gonna check um, your pulse up here just to make sure everything's flowing and then I will be listening to it later. All right, everything. Same great rhythm. I'm gonna check it on your hands and I'm gonna check it on your feet. Great. And I'm gonna check your capillary refill. You have nails on, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, great. One second. <laughs> Perfect. Now I'm gonna check your toe capillary refill. <laughs> All right. Very quick. That's exactly what we're looking for. All right. And I am gonna check the temperature of your feet and check the pulse down here too. Great. Cold feet. <laughs> it is cold in here. It is. Perfect. Okay. All right, next I'm going to look at, listen to your chest and stuff like that. Okay. So I am going to need you to lay down. You can lay on your, um, yeah, that side. Okay. Your left side. <clears throat> I'm going to put these on um, in a second. I just need to list or palpate here, check any bumble, bubbles like I said earlier. Perfect. Now I'm going to also take, which is basically what you, medical term for using your set scoop and listening. All right. You can lay on your back now. Oh. And basically, um, I'm going to listen to the main heart sounds, make sure everything's the same. Okay. Great. Right there was the apex of the heart where you'd be listening for. 
pulmonary sounds good. Okay, two more. Okay, one more. Everything sounded good there. And I'm just gonna ask you to sit up for me. Now I'm gonna check your art quarter arteries, which is your neck ones, and I'm gonna listen to those. And then let's here I'd be listening for bruise, which is like any rumbles or anything, just to make sure blood is flying the right way. And then I'll be using the bell of my stethoscope. All right, you can put your head up for me. abnormal findings for there. I did check for the heart sounds, the pitch, the splitting, all the locations. Um, that's basically what I was saying. The first one is the aortic, and the second one, um, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and then the last one is the mitral, which the mitral is the <clears throat> strongest point of the heart where you feel the, the hear the um, heart rate the most. So that's okay. where the main thing we were looking for there, which is great. All right, um, basically that's all. And then I will document the findings, like you said of your sister and stuff like that, but I don't think that's an issue for you or anything or anyone else in your family since you did say there's no history like that before. Do you have any other questions for me? No, thank you. All right, you need anything else? All right, thank you. Thank you.